Okay, so what's going on, y'all? Um, apparently, Cat Williams just announced that he's retiring. I have a little mixed feelings about that, though, because remember he said he was going to retire back in 08, and four years later, look at him now. So, I wouldn't consider it a retirement. I would consider that a vacation. Now, see, there's a, there's a huge difference between retirement and vacation. With retirement, you're done. You're finished. You know, there's no need for you to come back. With vacation, you're just taking a break. So, with Cat, I'm kind of on the fence now because, you know, he did that, what, four years ago on New Year's when he was like, I'm retiring. And then he came back and he did stand up. So, I was like, okay, that wasn't retirement, that was vacation. But, Cat, while you're on this retirement slash vacation, you need help, bro. You need to go to rehab. You need to seek counseling. And you need to get rid of Suge Knight because, you know, as you said, you know, you were rolling with the same dude that got Tupac shot after seeing it in person, you know, in Oakland. And after seeing the videos of what you did in Denver and recently in Fresno and now Seattle, you getting arrested, you driving three wheelers in Sacramento and slapping people in Target. Come on, man. That's not the cat that we know and love, man. Well, and you got you kind of got a little man complex. And you know some cat, because you always say how haters are trivial, but, you know, you're letting them get to your head, man. You know, so I guess haters are untrivial to you because, you know, you have a little man complex. You know, whenever a heckler says something about you, you, you jump on their bandwagon. Like, man, come on, man, just just relax, you know. Like you say, you know, haters are motivators. And if you ain't got haters, then you ain't doing something right. So, you know. It's funny how another person has to use your quote, so that's just me, man. Um, so this is a message to everybody, 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 everybody that paid for tickets to see his shows in Houston, New Orleans, and the whole nine. Looks like y'all aren't getting the show now, so, yeah, I'm still a fan, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm just, you know, giving you tough love, as my mom would say, you know, tough love, but, you know, Hopefully you do get help and then you can come back and do another special, you know, come back to Oakland and give us a real show. And, um, yeah, you know, just get your life together, man. Praying for you, bro.